Welcome back to NASCAR Thunder 2004 on the channel. And welcome back to, hopefully, our last super speedway race of the season. I'm looking forward to having everything in mind. But we need to get a win. Dover was a bad race. Dover sucked. We're losing ground in the standings. And I got my cheez -Its. So we locked in today. That's what it is. We locked in. We're going to go with our generic chassis. That's the only one we got. We're going to pull our second best motor out of the shop. Put that in the car. We're going to bring our best body we got. Talladega is a big track. I don't foresee us having any issues with it. But then again, it was a wild card last time we were there. It'll be a wild card again this time. Qualifying doesn't really matter here at Talladega. But what does matter here at Talladega is avoiding the big one keeping the car clean. So after running the first lap where we're 43rd, hopefully the second lap would be just a little bit better. We've got a lot of ground to make up during the race. 24th ain't bad. I hit the wall in the first lap though. Welcome to today's NASCAR Winston Cup Series event, the EA Sports 500, live on MRN from the Talladega Super Speedway in Alabama. We should be in for quite a show today, Barney. Let me sum it up for you all. 2.6 miles, four lanes, 190 miles an hour. Just doesn't get much better. Let's just hope these guys can stay out of the big one. Kevin Harvick always finds a way to qualify up front at the super speedways. And you know if your car is that fast by itself on these big tracks, it's going to be a real hot rod on race day. The 53 car might see some payback for his latest actions on the racetrack. Quite honestly, I think his driving has gotten a little out of control. It's one thing to be out there driving aggressively and fighting for position, but he's gone over the line as of late. Dale Jr. Number eight, Dale okay, we're clear. Okay, now that I've cut off Dale Jr., you can chrome horn me all you want, June Buck. This is Talladega. I ain't worried about you. Working with Jerry Nadu was not on my bingo card for today's race, but uh, I'll work with who I can. I can't work with Dale Jr. If I help him, then I'm basically shooting myself in the foot for the championship. Let's try to race a little clean. Three wide, hold that line. Dale Jr. quote unquote rattled my cage so bad that he wound up shooting me ahead a few more spots. I love when they mess up. And the rear of my car deck lid is still down. Jerry, I need I need to test something to see how high he He's definitely gonna hit me if he gets me. Number 20 is putting a block on you. He's been talking about you on the radio. Hard out loud. Okay, we're clear. You gotta stop blocking me. Here, Labani, why are you bringing Dale Jr. to me, bro? I'm in a championship fight. Messing with the uh, 43 car made me almost lose my drafting help. Fellow Pontiac driver. Jerry, I need you to come down into the draft, sir. 50, I want to see more of those laps. Good job. Got one eye. You're just determined to drive high. That's fine. Number one is still there. Careful. Then you do this. What are you what are you getting at here? I'm gonna have to improve that relationship with Tony Stewart. Naturally, or we could just out pit stop. 
So just so you guys know, for the record, we aren't doing the pit stop cheese of two tires and fuel. It's fuel only or four tires and fuel. That is it. That is all. No cheesing allowed. Keep an eye on your mirror. He's not too happy with it. You need fuel. Good Yellow's out. Works for me. I can grab some cheese. It's get a small break. What happened? But we are under caution and yellow is out. 50, 51. Catch it up to the leader. Keep on it. I have no idea what happened. But we are going to pit. Is that the 41 out Several cars now pull off the racetrack and begin a long journey down the road. All the Four tires and fuel. Well, that was a 39. That was Scott Pruitt leading, guys. Wow, we're 40 seconds. With Tony Stewart for a little. Never mind. The field is slowing down. We got guys out of fuel. Guys are out of fuel. I'm going to run down here. Most of the field is out of fuel. Okay. Well, I guess we'll be <laughs> with John and Dreddy instead, guys. Okay. We ran out of gas. How long until this causes another caution? Like, seriously. How long until they cause another caution with this? 55, 79. We're running strong. Now let's work our way to the front. Like, I don't know who's running where. I do know that Dale Jr.'s in that pot of people who ran out of gas, which is just bad crew chiefing on his team side. For them not to bring him down pit road, knowing that he's got a really big points battle. Okay, most of the field seems to have made it to pit road. They did make it to pit road. I'm impressed. Unfortunately, though, they're all going to be a lap down. Yeah, I'm working with John and Dreddy, guys. We've been rivals for a bit now. And I think it's about time we just go ahead and become friendly again. A couple top five cars are on their way into the pit. That includes John Andretti for whatever reason. No draft help. 15, Keep coming. And we're going to need a pit. Again, pit stop now won't help. I don't know what to do, guys. Um, all things considered, this is probably the most wild card of wild card ea 500s i think we've ever been a part of like if we come in we just have to send it all the way to the line and hope that we don't get held up with a speeding penalty i've got no draft help i'm losing time to the leaders i'm surprised that my crew chief said i'm closing jeff gordon is in third I've got 2.2 gallons of fuel left, and I need to pit this time. Contact with the two cars. Easy now. Gonna need some of that grip later. You have got to be kidding me. He just got caught speeding on the pit road. That'll be a five-second penalty, and that was definitely not what this pit crew was hoping for when he hit pit road. The driver hits his mark, and the crew will go to the back 
inside the car. It looks like this will be a fuel-only stop. One can of rescue fuel going into this machine. Now they go with the second can. Wait, doesn't look like they got a whole second can in. Thank you, Rusty Wallace. One, one, one mile that I didn't even cause because I got hit. Going for it, I'm just gonna like preemptively make sure I'm just going. He's been talking about you on the radio. Stay smooth now. We're in the top five. You're that way, if I get hit, there's no way they can say it's my fault. I need a good draft partner so I can catch Jeff Gordon. Faster than me, Mikey. Go. Number 15, up high. The 15 car is still there. Let's set sail. Click them oh, ears back. Come on. Oh, there's Michael Waltrip leaving me behind. That how fast these BEI cars really are? Your right front's wearing down. Keep an eye on it. 51, 29. That speed will get us to the front. Keep it up. Two more times around. Why are we running so high right now? Actually, very surprised that things got spread out this badly, but it's okay. Sitting here rolling around in fourth, white flags out. Come on, we can just get Michael Waltrip and Ricky Rudd, I'd be a lot happier. That means I'm just a little bit closer. Dive. Gotta make the dive. 74 cars gonna be slow. Ah. Why is Tony Raines here? Of all cars, man. Ricky Rudd, get that win. Get that win, Ricky Rudd. It's the one time I'm on the route for you to get the win for the Wood Brothers. That's a solid third I'll take it. Third place. Huge. Not very many caution laps in this one. Well, that was good news to the guys who ran out front. More cautions would just have meant more restarts, which is more chances for you to lose positions. The MBNA car never even got a scratch in this race. Yeah, you never quite know what's going to happen in these NASCAR and Winston Cup races. When you finish a race and your car still looks brand new, you've done one heck of a job as a driver. The 53 car sure did run well with Jerry Nadeau. Normally these guys are so competitive that a driver has to work his tail off for every spot. But when you have some friends out there, you can occasionally catch a break. That can help a bunch because every position and every tenth of a second counts. Thanks for joining us. For Barney Hall and the rest of us here at EA Sports at MRN, we'll see you next time. I will accept a Rick, uh, Ricky Rudd win. I'll, I'll just accept that. That's fine. Because he helped out a ton um, getting past Jeff Gordon in the tri -oval. Wish I could have been there. Shouldn't have had that five-second um, speeding penalty. Thanks, Rusty Wallace. But it's fine. Overall, let's recap the top ten now. Ricky Rudd first. Jeff Gordon second, we finished third. Mark, Mark, Michael Waltrip was fourth. Steve Park got up there to finish fifth. Jamie McMurray, John Andretti, Mark Martin, Rusty Wallace, and Kevin Harvick round out your top 10. 
Um, a few notables include the 20 car of Tony Stewart finishing in 19th. Of course, you guys know Jeff Gordon finished ahead of me in second. Dale Jr. finished down in 25th, which is going to hurt him a little bit more than um, possibly expected. Jimmy Johnson lost the motor. Um, and I did see another car that was blowing up, but I don't think he uh, I don't think he DNF'd in time. So he wound up kind of saving himself from losing a few more positions. I don't remember exactly which car it was, but. I did see a car blowing up. Overall, a lot of people led laps, and we weren't one of them. Michael Waltrip, Jeremy Mayfield, Jeff Gordon, Dale Jarrett, Mark Martin, Ryan Newman, Bill Elliott, Scott Pruitt, Ricky Rudd, all led laps. The downside is, is or the upside is, that Jeff Gordon did not lead the most laps to get those extra 10 uh, bonus points. It was actually Michael Waltrip who did. That's fine. Points off the table for me, but um, points off the table for them, too. So, it worked out. I'll take it. Let's head back to the shop, reassess things, and figure out what our next uh, steps will be. Kansas Speedway is next with the Banquet 400, but first, let's check the point standing. Without us getting that win and without us leading more left than Jeff Gordon, I am a little concerned that he has kind of closed the gap a little bit here. But we've had a lot of new winners, or we've had the same winners winning for the most part this season, but the good news is we've had a lot of winners winning in consecutive races, as you guys know. Um, it's not just the Neko Darius show or the Dale Jr. show, so we've got some parody happening. It was me in the Daytona 500. It was Ricky Rudd at Subway. Then Dale Jarrett got two wins um, back-to-back. Then Jeff Burden, Jeff Gordon, Greg Biffle, which was a surprise. Then Kevin Grubb, which was another surprise. Then was Mark Martin, Tony Stewart, Ricky Craven. That was a surprise. Then it was Bobby Labonte for the All-Star. Then it was me at the Coke 600 and Dover. Then it was Dale Jr. at Pocono Sirius. Then the road courses, uh, the road course of um, Infineon was Tony Stewart. Uh, Daytona uh, Pepsi 400 was Bill Elliott. Then I won a race. Then it was New England 300. Then I won a race at Pocono. And follow that up with a Brickyard win. But lately it's been Jeff Gordon, Dale Jr., Ricky Rudd won at Tiburon. I forgot about that. Then we won at um, Darlington. Then it was Jeff Gordon, Dale Jr., Kevin Harvick, Ricky Rudd. And I'm kind of confused on who's going to potentially win the next one. Um, love seeing it. And we are, oh my gosh, we're the points leader. We are the points leader by five points over Dale Jr. Huge. So we've got our, we've gained our points back and we're back in the, in the lead. Unfortunately, we still got Jeff Gordon to worry about and Tony Stewart has been falling further and further back. So I think we're doing pretty solid right now in everything that we need to do. That is huge for me because that gives me a little bit of extra confidence um, that I need because I I won't lie to you guys. I started feeling the confidence start to uh, shake a bit and I'm glad that I, I'm, I'm not having to worry about that. I really am. Okay, so looking at this, we've got how many races before Martinsville? Because I want to bring the best Martinsville stuff I can find. Uh, two. So this race and then the race at low. Got it. We're going to go ahead and work on some stuff. We're going to work on... I can't work on anything. What you see is what you get. Got it. Oh, wait, our shop edition should be complete. Yeah, it is. Shop edition new, shop edition complete for the engine dyno, which means time for us to make our first track specific um, engine. And with so many races left over after we get this one repair in, I might go, I might see if I can get a speedway race or speedway engine for race 33 through 36, like an actual speedway built engine. Then, after that speedway engine is built, we can make a super speedway engine, which, in theory, can help us for 2020, uh, 2005 in game for our third season. Yeah, I think that will work. I don't think I should actually do anything right now to um, a car to the bodies. I don't. I was about to say I don't think we need it, but. Uh, one of these bodies looks pretty dang bad. Looks pretty beat up. 
and we have 405,000 to spend. So I really don't want to spend this level of money on overhaul. But 405 minus 144 is a lot more doable at 261K left over. Because I want to put that stuff into the motor. Yeah, we'll just repair this. We got that in the hopper for the repairs. We should get that back. And now that we've got some friends on track, we shouldn't see too many more wrecks with people. We shouldn't. But then again, it is NASCAR. Wrecks happen all the time. If you like today's video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. It'll help me out a ton, especially if you subscribe. But the likes are really important to me. Any extra likes we get, we'll start getting bonus episodes ready. And then I can start filling you guys in on what's to come in season in three. Okay? See you guys next time. Be easy, everybody.